What if I told you that you could essentially heal your own wounds without receiving actual medication? Have you ever heard of the sugar pill? It's basically a drug to trick your brain into thinking it's getting a treatment when it really doesn't contain any active substance of medicine. That is an example of a placebo. Although placebos won't lower your cholesterol or shrink a tumor, it often produces a physical effect. Placebos work on symptoms modulated by the brain like the perception of pain. Placebos may make you feel better, but they will not cure you. They have been shown to be most effective for conditions like pain management, stress-related insomnia, and cancer treatment side effects like fatigue and nausea. Placebos are used in studies in order to find out whether or not the pharmacological effect of a drug actually includes a pain relief, or whether the effects produced by the drug might be related to psychological processes that are generally called the placebo effect. The placebo effect describes any psychological or physical effect that a placebo treatment or a sugar pill has on an individual. The History of Placebos the history of placebos goes back to the late 18th century when physicians started to use them to satisfy patients' demands, expectations, and most importantly, their mind. They were used when there was no availability of a real drug or if someone imagined they're ill. Nowadays, placebos are commonly used in clinical trials to evaluate the true overall effect of a new drug. The clinical trial will be separated into two groups. The first group is given the actual drug, while the other is given a fake one. Researchers will evaluate their effect and only when the real drug shows a significant positive difference, then the placebo will be administrated. The placebo effect releases a reaction that involves dopamine and endorphins. It also triggers specific parts of the brain linked to mood, self-awareness, and emotional reactions. For instance, a trial done on Parkinson's medications using a placebo saw that patients' brain released dopamine chemical as a result of the placebo, which helps in relieving symptoms. The psychology behind the placebo effect why do we experience the placebo effect? Now, the placebo effect is linked to several factors, some of them being the patient clinical relationship, the environment and the ritual the patient undergoes, and the expectancy to heal after taking a placebo. The patient clinical relationship is a big factor. If a doctor greatly believes a treatment would work, the patient would more likely benefit from it. Another factor is the environment and the ritual the patient undergoes. Ted Kapchik says there is an entire environmental and ritual factor when it comes to the patient receiving treatment. He says you have to go to a clinic at certain times and be examined by medical professionals in white coats. All this can have a profound impact on how the body perceives symptoms because you feel like you are getting attention and care. He adds, a trusting relationship between the doctor and the patient is likely important. Perhaps the exception of belief is the psychology behind the placebo effect. The final factor is the expectancy to heal. Researchers say that in order for the placebo effect to work, patients must believe that they are getting better. To support this claim, studies surrounding clinical trials on headaches reported that 36% of patients who were given the placebo pill found massive improvements in their symptoms. This suggests that patients who unknowingly take placebo pills have better results than patients who don't get any type of treatment at all. The benefits of a placebo aren't just made up in your head. It is truly powerful how your brain holds the ability to convince your body that a fake treatment is in fact a real one. Be sure to subscribe and comment down below and follow us on our media platforms in the description box. Thank you for watching.